highlights of the year in the winners, and that's the annual draw for our mark and goal of the year. The mark and goal of 1982, and with me to make the draw, as usual, the general manager of the Victorian Football League, Jack Hamilton, who believes he's the best equipped barrel person in Australia, although I feel he lacks some of the assets of other barrel people I've seen. But I've lasted longer. You have, I'm Jack? I'm still here. One of it's the longest... a regular employment, once a year, whether I need it or not. Well, let's give it a go. First up, the goals of the year. This is the competition for our Victorian viewers. And just to refresh your memories, let's have another look at the top six goals of 1982. Ross Glen Dinning, North Melbourne, covering two-thirds of the ground. Saru near the centre. I think North have put the brakes on a fraction. Glen Dinning. Still with Ross Glen Dinning. Oh, magnificent. Well, he almost kicked the goal of the day a while ago. This could be it again. Demetrio, back to Glenn Denning. He's got the chance now. He's taken it 100 metres. There it is! B, Silvio Fascini of the Swans, a freak mid-air shot. Dennis Carroll, Wayne Carroll calling for the uh, footy. The kick by Dennis Carroll, dropping short. Klomp is there. Kicked off the ground by Fascini. That was a mid-air shot, and Fascini has put it through. C, Malcolm Blight, North Melbourne, one of 103 for the year. Up towards Blight. Lloyd Lest run a wagon underneath the ball. He's got it in the forward pocket. This will be a great goal if he can kick it. Oh, he's kicked it. What a goal by Malcolm Blight. Oh, unbelievable. D, Kevin Worthington Collingwood, who tried and tried again. The free kick. Peart runs at the ball. Judgment not there. Worthington runs into Moore, tries to do it by himself. Oh, breaks a strong tackle by McClure. Then by Klopp, does it all by himself. Has a shot for goal, and he's put it through. E, Terry Danaher, Essendon, without a rear vision mirror. Bahaja, Bahaja downfield where the fighters are there. Madden almost took it, kicked it away from Carter. Terry Danaher, great courage. A super kick. An absolutely magnificent. And F, Ricky Barham Collingwood, a fine left foot snap. Taylor to Davis, centres the ball well. Russell there, Banks, Tony Shaw, Barham the chance. Plenty of pressure on him. Good snap! Super goal by Barham! Our top six goals for 1982, tremendous lineup. Jack, uh, the diversity, I think, perhaps the feature. They were all very different. Yep, there was uh, spectacular and uh, courage galore there in some of them. Well, we eventually moments. opted for goal C, kicked by Malcolm Blight of North Melbourne out at the Western Oval. And let's see among all our uh, entries from Victorian viewers if we can find one. Oh, we better give it a turn first, Jack, before no I... No doubt about that. We let's don't go. want people riding in that it's rigged. Well, gee, it's heavy. heavy. Very heavy. Those three envelopes certainly are weighty. Right, get that famous arm in there. No envelopes. Bottomless pit. Malcolm Blight. First, first up. one. Well done. First one. Well done, Mrs Lane. And get your <laughs> prize uh, this week. <laughs> yeah. This is Barry Jarrett of 81 Stall Street Style. Tremendous. Luck, Barry. Somebody from out in the country a bit. So Barry Jarrett has won two tickets to the 1982, two seats to the 1982 VFL Grand Final. Well, now it's our Mark of the Year competition. This is the one for our interstate viewers. And let's refresh your memories again. The top six marks of 82. Mark one, Wayne Carroll of the Swans, one of many good ones he took. Shooty's scouting for it. Uh, he gets a call from uh, Wayne Carroll. Malaki's in front. Oh, oh what a leap. He certainly had spring buck, this fellow, or check in the box. Mark two, Trevor Barker, St Kilda, typical of so many that he's taken. Half forward flank. Barker's there. Got about three to beat. What a fantastic mark by Barker at his very best. Don't see much better than that, and that's brought the St Kilda grandstand to life. Vintage Barker, that one. Mark three, Jeff Rains, Richmond, a great leap at the MCG. Oh, Rains, the flyer of the match. He has been an absolutely dominant player since he took over the centre and he loitered in the air for his seventh mark. Mark number four, Paul van der Haar Essendon. How did he finish up with the ball? The tallest man in the league. 
kick. Mighty kick. Simon Mad was there. Vandahar as well. And Vandahar finished up with the ball and took the mark. An unbelievable leap by Paul Vandahar. And no matter how much arguing the Richmond defenders do, it's in the book a mark to Vandahar. And very shortly it should be in the book a goal to Vandahar. Mark five, Simon Madden, Essendon, a huge leap from a big man. Didn't see it because he was in the sun, and a split second later he put his hand up his eyes to try and uh, get some. Oh! Oh, Simon oh, Madden, oh, unbelievable oh, mark. Oh. The Essendon crowd, totally static by that. That's his sixth mark, and I doubt in the last five years whether I've seen a player get up quite as high as that. And mark six, Gary Buckanara Hawthorne, a spectacular catch at VFL Park. And pass from Colfie Braun, kicks it out wide to the flank. Oh, a magnificent half from Buckanara! They're the six marks, Jack. It makes you feel dizzy. I haven't yep. seen marks like that since you were playing for Collingwood. And he wanted to be a worthy winner. Uh, I'd need oxygen if I got up as high as that, Tim. Well, eventually our panel of experts voted for probably the highest leap of the year, and that was the one by Jeff Rains. Number three at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. So let's get in here. We'll give it a turn first. Let's see if we can get Mrs Hamilton's ticket out this exactly. time. Exactly. We've done well so far, Timmy. We've got your mother to the grand final. Yes, she's looking forward to it. Oh, well, there's some entries in there. Certainly are. We've had a fantastic response from uh, people interstate. It really is phenomenal. Mark number four from nope. uh, Mrs Judd. No, nope. for after number three. Mark number five. Keep going. No. no, Mark number five, Simon Madden. A lot this of is support. actually a two-part series. We'll be back tomorrow night. <laughs> Jeff Here Rains. Here we are, We've Jeff Rains. A Western Australian, which is tremendous because we've had an overwhelming response from uh, Western Australians. S. S. Macdonald of Orchid Drive, Roller Stone, WA. OK, well, there are our two winners. Congratulations. What a magnificent prize there, Tim, all the way from Western Australia, per courtesy of the ABC. That's right, courtesy, in fact, of uh, Ansett Airlines, who will be flying SA McDonald and friend to Victoria for the grand final. Two nights accommodation, Friday and Saturday at the Queen's Lodge Motor Inn, and uh, two seats, of course, at the 92, 1982 VFL grand final. That's our competition. Thanks very much for your response. Now back to today's action and more highlights from the preliminary final.